To be able to externally rotate, so look, my hand is way outside the elbow. So if we're tight, it can be hard to get into that position with the tree on the floor. So if that's yeah. if that's more if that's more like you, you can put the bars at an angle on the floor to help you out a little bit. But we'll let's just have a, before we add in the complexity of them. Let's just have a little... It's more difficult with the bars? Uh, I find it way easier. Yeah, easier. Yeah. Potentially. Let's just have a feel of what it's like on the floor. The nice thing about with the floor, it gets you to use your fingers still. So come down onto come down onto his knees. Uh oh, what was that? Good shot. No, the dive. Gio, are you um, So dependent on the angle of your arm here. The angle of your elbow will de depend on how far you need to rotate your hands around. So you're going to rotate your hands so your fingers are pointing somewhat backwards. So that when you see if now, when I bend my elbows, they start going in towards me to make a little shelf for me to go there anywhere. Yeah? yeah. And then I'm going to spread go. the knees outside. I'm going to keep my knees bent to start with. So I'm going to lean forward and make sure that my elbows are driving into them. It's going to make me go like that. It's just driving. Belly. And then can you just hover? Oh, don't worry about string legs. Can you just hover off the floor? Are you resting on your elbows? There you go. There you go. There you go. My arms only got shot. Oh, belly. Yes. Jimbo. Yeah. 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 Trying to get. We're trying to find as soon as we get our elbows. If we're, if we're finding it, so if we're finding that, if we're finding it difficult, that's my lord. If we're finding it difficult, we must make sure we're resting, so that we're re we're actually resting on the elbow rather than it's going to be much harder for you to try and suspend yourself with only friction between your arm. So if you're finding it difficult to, you don't feel like you're resting on your elbow and your elbows keep slipping out, come and grab a set of the bars, put them at an angle, get on top, make sure that it's resting. On you. Okay. Um, and then I'll show you a little bit of the progression wise it's dead simple. So seesaws. I um, I was talking about levers and whatnot because it's not calisthenics. It's not calisthenics at all. It's literally sizes. Yeah? It's levers, angles, pivot points, it's engineering. So I've got a, my back I've got a background in I did materials engineering at, at Loughborough Uni. So um, Tim always takes the piss out of me so Tim likes because, but, it, but, it's, but that's all it is. All we've got to do is balance this thing out. It's then using our body to do it. So if I can create a nice pivot point here where I'm uh, where my hands are, I'm resting my elbows in my midsection. There's, there's, there's the middle point of my seesaw. What we tend to find is we go, well, I want to straighten my legs out behind me. Straighten them out that way and fall back down. So all I've got to do is I've got to move myself forward, right? Rather than putting one kid on the seesaw, I've got to put one on either end. So how do I actually do that? I've got to take this bent position, and I've got to push myself forward. So how do I push myself forward? I've got to start straightening that arm. It doesn't need to be completely straight, but I've got to start straightening it. You'll feel the strength comes from that bicep and, uh, and your anterior delt, so your shoulder, to actually be able to hold yourself forward enough. So, to find, rather than going, as we do the handstand, slowly, don't just shoot out, one thing at a time. So, I get comfortable here. Do I, am I happy? Do I feel comfortable? Am I, yeah, right, I can control myself a little bit. That's me moving about. Right, so, now as I straighten my legs, I'm gonna start to see myself shifting forward until I find my most difficult point. If I'm good enough, I can shoot all the way through. Yeah? Straddle is going to be easier than straight to start with. You don't have to push as far forward. As I bring them together, I've got to push myself further forward there to try and create a nicer straight line as you can. 
When uh, Rachel. Yeah, well, yeah, you try and stand over here. Let your leg, your leg just come down. Yeah, so. Th th it's a good example, look. Bella, you don't mind using it, I'm going to do that So, Bella was at an angle. And then what happened when we tried to get. So I was like, I don't want her to do that WF body slam. So it was like, try to come down. So as we started coming down here, what does she need to do over here? Move yeah. forward. Yeah. And did she? Yeah. No. And, and, and then the question comes, can, so now you know, but the question then is, can you, because it's, to go forward is great, yeah, go forward, but we need the strength to go forward. That's the strength part of the, of the elbow lever, yeah? But, so what, so if we haven't got the strength, what's then she got to do? This is a great session. What have you got, what's then underneath? Short on the knee, Sure, so what's your, what we might, like, what? Bend your legs, or we could, you, might, you might straddle at first, straddle, you might be alright on a straddle. You can straddle, no one's watching. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Family show, it's fine, isn't it? Right, everyone, everyone can just do their thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch. We still want to watch though. <laughs> so spread, spread the legs. Spread the legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spread the legs. 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 You said you were going to swallow, and then you went out and you like, do you know what it means? <laughs> right, everyone carry on. Does anyone else want to go? Oh, someone filming? Yeah, so I'll start it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's brilliant. Oh, you're, you're, you're a minute and a half in, but you've got a joke. So head up a little bit, chest up. Good. You'll see it. Just let it start. Oh. Oh. It's nice and everywhere. Do you want to try again? Yeah, I want to go. The other nice thing with these is getting, like, getting used, is that if you've never used parallel bars before, like, what's it like when you try and do a frog stand on them? Yeah. Oh, that was the thing I was going to say. So, <laughs> when the question is, is it easier or harder, I say it's different. Oh, it always reminds me of when um, <laughs> Rachel in Friends that she had something with was it Pablo, Paolo, and it was like, and it was, it was like, it's just different. Yeah. Like it, it, it is, it's just, it is just different. <laughs> There's a nice thing that your wrist is in neutral on a parallel bar yeah. rather than in that extended position, so there isn't pressure at that joint. Straddle, Jim, Jim, straddle to start. So you get yourself wide to start with, yeah. and. If I'm going to, if, if this is me straight on for my normal one, yeah. I'm actually going to come round to the side of it more. Like a cross. So I'm over here. Yeah. Yeah. Allowing the wrist to be in a neutral oh, position on the other way. Oh. Yeah. 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 I'm trying to come down. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it. This way, yeah. Correct. Yeah. That's good.